Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is uh, Aging Gorgeously. You've never been here before. And today, let me get this right so you ain't looking at everything. Today, we will be doing, uh, if you watch this in the replay, if you can watch the chat, go ahead, open up the chat and see what we talked about. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? And then, hey, Michelle. And then uh, leave a like, leave a comment, all that other good stuff. I got a lot going on and I'm trying to, I'm going to go through it real quick because I'm trying something new with my lives. So this is going to be a very focused live. So we're not going to spend time, well, we, if we chat, but it won't be, i uh, turn this off and start another one. Okay, so anyway, today is Perfume Blind Buys and Friend Mail Unexpectedly. So I was, um, hey Tammy. So I had, you know, I got all this stuff and I and I can't wait a minute longer because I have not opened any of this stuff. I have not opened any of this of this perfume. And so we're gonna play well a couple of them. Hi Diana. I, you know, I got this a couple things I've sprayed, but the majority I have not sprayed at all. So we're gonna get started right away. People can get in with watching the replay, whatever, because I am I am dying. You are absolutely right. I am dying. However, I was good. I wrote out my um my chords and everything. So I got this from Coco. Coco sent this to me. So and I was not expecting this. I was just going to pick up my packages, and then I saw this package, and so I was like, "What? What? What is this?" So now let's see what's in this package, honey. She has she has sealed this baby up, child. I'm gonna try to get up in here. I'm gonna try. Maybe that's not gonna work. So I mean, I got, I have not. Hi, Jenny. Um, so this is like, so yeah. Coco sent this to me. We're gonna see what it looks like. I have no idea what's in here. I was not expecting it. I told her to come on and get in here. Don't. Oh, she loves taste. She tasted to death for me. Okay. It is, oh shoot, this is, this is quite a few things in here. Okay, whoa, 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 let's see. It is, let's first go through. Lashes, lashes, she got, oh, she got me lashes. So these are the midnight ones. Oh my goodness, oh my. And then we have the Demi Wispies by Ardell. We got another set of Demi Wispies by Ardell. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then a bunch of the other my the AliExpress ones. So she gave me the A13s. Ooh, these are cute. The A13s. What are these? These are the AO3s. Hi Karen. AO3s. Oh my goodness. And then she got me Oh, this is another pair of AO3s. Oh, she got me some more D21s. I love these. Yes, honey, my last drawer overflows. And she got me some D20. She got me a D20. Ooh, this is cute too. And then an A10. Oh, I like these too. These are these are a good everyday lash because they're a little sexy, but not too much going on. Okay, now what is this? I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. This box is was jam-packed. What is this? Becca and Chrissy Teigen Glow Palette. You know I've been wanting this thing, right? <laughs> but I wouldn't pay for it because it was never on sale. Okay, there we go. The Becca and, you know, I can I cannot go wrong with a face palette, y'all. Face palettes and me, our love, our love. Oh, I will say, it's from Coco. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Karen, did you like those um blushes? Ooh, I've been wanting this one, but I wouldn't pay for it. I wouldn't pay for it. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, then she gave me some. Oh, these K Somerville. This is good. This is good, man. Oh, I'm, I love presents now. Don't get me, don't get me started. I love good presents. This is exfoliate and this Rick Award, which is good because I have some of um that. I thought they would be good colors for you. And then she gave me some bite. What is this right here? 
she sent me some more bite y'all so it oh and there's a little note in here oh my goodness oh my goodness let's see so it's three in here oh snap i am so i yes yes i'm glad i gave it to you because Oh, okay. So she bought this set and then she won a set or something. So she sent me this extra set that she got. So this is the rose deconstructed rose lipsticks. So let's see what they look like. Not going to swatch them today. This will be another swatch party. But let's see what they look like. This is Centifolia. Oh, you can tell this is biting. Look, it is actually sweating. Oh, it smells good though. Yeah, it's just a little sweaty. Oh, I like this color. Okay. And they smell like roses. I like them. I like them. Okay, and then we got Damask, as in Damask Roses. As in Damask Roses. God is in the box. This is Damask. Oh, she's a pretty pink. She's purdy. She's purdy, y'all. She's purdy. Oh yeah, that uh, that's that sold out quick, Karen. And it was so funny because I think I went, I got that at the store though. Yeah, I got that at the store. And then Grandifolia, which are different types of roses. I used to, I used to grow roses. But I only like English roses because they're big and oversized and just, ooh, she pretty. She's a red, ooh. Ooh, I can't wait to see how these look on. I've been keeping my bites by the window to keep them cool because you know my room can get extremely hot. So I'm gonna put this back. Whoa, whoa, okay. And I mean, and she packed this box. This little box was jam packed. Ooh, what's this? What's this? There's something else in here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is Montal Velvet Oud. Coco, I'm just, I'm just finishing up your box. Velvet Oud. Oh, yes. We about to put this in the blind buy. I don't know anything about it, but we about to see what it is. Coco, the lashes, the lashes. I don't need no lashes for a while. See, I was thinking I need to order some lashes. And then I got the lashes. So I'm going to be good. I'm, and these are gorgeous. I cannot wait to swatch them. See how they look. And then we're going to be, we're going to do the Becca. We're going to have the Becca on. <laughs> I am so sad. I am so sad. I am so easy. I swear to God, I'm easy. <laughs> Men don't know. They buy me gifts. My love language is gifts. If a man bought me gifts, he <laughs> piss me off. Hey, baby, I bought you some gifts. What you buy me? What you buy me? What you buy me? <laughs> I am so damn easy. Where's my water? Okay. Oh. So let's. So I'm gonna put this to the side. This goes in with the blind buys now, so we can see what this smells like oh my god Ooh, you know i love a good ood oh my god okay so let me do that i need to take my iron i need to take some iron baby you filled this box up that box was insane thank you so much i so appreciate you y'all know you i appreciate it you know okay so let me just let's go through what i have here in front of me and it kind of went like a little awry. I'm talking low because I don't want B to really see what I did. Okay, so let's talk. Now, we've already done Into the Night. We've talked about this. Now, let me tell you how good this stuff is. The, the Bath & Body Works sale has started, and the actual bottle of the perfume has sold out online. But they still have the perfume sprays. But these, I'm telling y'all... I like this. This is such a really now the, the actual perfume is $39.50, but you can get these to try them out and you can use the, you know, they're part of the sale. Um, these are like $12.50. Buy two, 
something, I don't know, three. I don't know how they're doing it now. But anyway, these are good. These are good. I need to drink some more water. So I got that one. Then I got this one, which is rose. Now, this is the only thing I did not pull the accords up. Let me go get my water because I'm a little parched. And what I'm doing for everybody who understands, we're going to go through all of this stuff. And then I'm going to end this one because I want to see how quickly I can get through it. And if I do shorter things like this, well, you know, and make it easier for people to watch me. So we are going to bust through this stuff. Let me get my water because my throat's a little parched. I'll be back. Let's make this happen. All right, so let's talk about what I got. I got everything. So this is the rose. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. I have not looked at the accords or anything on this one. So I'm sorry. We just gonna spray it, see what it smells like. So this is the rose one that I got. I got my little test strips. I have not, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. okay okay so it's got this it's a rose of course but it's kind of got a little sweetness uh your mom taped your gift bag shut it's rosy but it's not too rosy you know a lot of times i don't like rose like that true rose you know back in the day when you got rose and it was like oh my god this is too much this isn't too much. But it's got a little sweetness to it. So it's that rose sweet kind of vibe. Kind of good. I'm not going to try any of these on. They will be. Um, these I will, you know, do other stuff with these. So we will have them where I've reviewed them, talk about them. Um, see, I am like the minimalist when it comes to packing. It's like I'll throw this shit in the bag. You might get some, you might get some tissue paper. All right. We were just talking about this last night. I got me some fresh cream warm cashmere. This is uh by Yes. Yes. I remember when the body shop used to have those. The uh, oils you could get. Yes. They stocked them now. Take this over here. I have this in case I need it. So I got the um, fresh cream raw cashmere. Let me give y'all. Um, I know I when I ordered this, they didn't have it on sale. So this is an oriental vanilla with the cores that are vanilla, woody, powdery, coconut, musky notes. When we went, I didn't smell it when you sprayed it, when it sprayed on you. I know Kim, Michelle kept saying it smells so good. What the hell is this on me? The fuck is it? Huh, okay. Um, the notes are coconut, cashmere wood, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. The thing about the um, Amazing Graces is that they don't last long, but they smell so good. This is the one that they said is more for the winter time, whereas most of the other ones are very spring and summery that I have. So let's see. Hi, Nate. Oh my God, this does smell good. It is, if you love sweet gourmandy things, this is definitely it. You can definitely smell the coconut. Definitely has a strong coconut smell in the beginning. Like a coconut vanilla. Yes, I had a great Christmas. Um, it's like a coconut vanilla. Oh yeah, and then it's and then it's probably gonna dry down. Yeah, it's got a very creamy smell to it. Oh, yes, cute, cute. I like having these little bottles because I got them all lined up. So this is fresh, uh, right? Coconut and vanilla. It smells. It's uh, it smells like you know somebody gonna eat you up. 
this is eat you up smell. I'm just saying, it's an eat you up smell. It's an eat you up smell. Let me take my bottle. Yeah, I like the Demeter bottle. I said I'm gonna start ordering Demeter too, to have some, um, tuck in some iron, hold on. Hi, Kelly. Next up, Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Um, yeah, how was it? I had a nice one. I had a nice, nice Christmas. All right, so this is Bronze Goddess now by Estee Lauder. Um, so I got this. This is the 2019 version. Apparently, they tweak it almost every year. This was on Super Sale. Hi, V. This was on sale plus 20% off. You about to go out? You coming to hang out with me? I was going to say thank you. Oh, she wants to say thank you. Not everybody's here. Let's do that later. Okay. We'll do a separate one where we'll come and say thank you. But you see, ain't she looking pretty? $22 for the set. Are you kidding? Coco said, hey, B. This Coco is going to send out this. She said, hey, Coco's the one who sent me all this. So you got no lashes? I got lashes. You can never have too many You can never have too many lashes. All right, so this is Bronze Goddess. This is the 2019 version. Everybody say, hey, she's going to come back on. And we're going to have another one. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't it pretty? Yes, so bronze goddess is an oriental floral. Hi, Robin, you're in. We just got started on the fragrances. Hi, Miss G. So this is a bronze goddess. The cores are vanilla, coconut, amber, sweet, white floral, and powdery. So this is the 2019 version. They change it up every year. This was on sale, and then I used the 20% off coupon, so that's how I wound up with this. The top is coconut. <clears throat> the middle is tiare flowers, which is basically gardenias. And sandalwood, amber, vanilla. Mm. She smelled good. I'm looking for some fragrances for the summertime. So I got this. You think we? Are, you think me and Hudson is Miss G, I'm going to post up me and my niece. My niece Sabine looks more and more like me every year. I was like, girl, you beautiful. She's like, well, I look more and more like you, Auntie. Auntie. I was like, yes, child, you are beautiful. Don't ever forget that. Yeah, that was my nice way of saying it. Thank goodness you don't look like your mama. All right, so then I got this. Now, this one I couldn't find the cords on, but this is English Laundry, and this is Oxford Blue Femme. Now, um... I'm going to leave it back here with you. Okay. Probably gonna end up being okay. And this is very, um... So, English Laundry is expensive, but not when you get it in Marshalls, because this stuff is... They, this stuff is crazy expensive, y'all. But if you find it in Marshalls, it ain't. So this was like twelve ninety nine. Are you returning all these? No, just one. Which one you uh, Party dress and then black tie is um, Mario's. That was part of his Christmas gift he left in here. Now this is the only one that I could not find. This smells like candy. What do you think? It does. It That's smells sweet. It smells like candy. That's too sweet. It yeah, it straight smells like. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm looking at this stuff and it's like, um, no, 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 we don't want this. So it smells like candy. Um, I since I don't know the cores of this one because I couldn't find it, but yeah, this has a very candy sweet smell to it with a a a, sm a slight floral going on. Hmm. I kind of like it. They had two of them here, there, and so I just picked one because they had this and another one, but $12.99. Yeah. $12.99. I'm all about let's have some balance in our perfumes. I, 
I ain't even gonna discuss what I saw earlier today. I was like, what? Um, I was watching. Yeah, I can tell it don't last. But you know, it would be a cute little like, cause it's still got, it's not too sweet. I would wear that in the spring. All right, so the next up is I got white tea um, by Elizabeth Arden. As opposed to green tea, I got white tea. So we're going to see how Miss White Tea is, child. We're going to see how she is. Okay, now I got to get her out the box. <sighs> I really hate these. Okay, she's coming out. Don't you hate when you get these, these things and then you can't get them out the box right away? So this is another inexpensive buy just you know trying some stuff so because like i said i'm trying to um get some stuff to like smell for the summertime and i don't want to because you know i have too much stuff that's like really thick and heavy so this is a green aromatic woody amber powdery so let's see let's see what she smells like Okay, first off, I saw somebody talking about this because I have never bought the green teas, but now I'm fascinated with them. But I wanted to see this because they said this was a tad bit more adult. I ain't gonna just tell y'all that I just sprayed, I've been spraying my utensils. I'm sitting in the kitchen. I just sprayed all my utensils with perfume. <laughs> I gotta put them in the dishwasher. All right, Louise. Oh yeah, she smells good definitely powdery definitely got a floral hi stacy yes this is um green has a is a little more this definitely is tend to be a little more sophisticated than the green teas because like the white you know the green teas tends to be a little more it just i'm not going to say they're inexpensive but they just this one has a slight more sophisticated vibe to it than that so it has white tea and sea breeze and it really does it smells like you know you're at a day at the beach it smells like a day you know what it smells like it smells like a day on the water not just at the beach but on the water like you're gonna put on your white tea you're gonna get on the yacht you're gonna go oh hello darlings and you're gonna be sitting on the yacht sunny i'm gonna be wearing this this summer as i do all of that because <laughs> y'all know i'm going on my friend's boat all summer long so yeah, this is this is definitely where green tea is more, you know, hanging at the beach. This is a day at on a yacht. A day on the yacht. This is boat hotness, honey, hunty, 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 hunty. Sometimes I make myself laugh. Now, I'm not even going to tell y'all the price of this because this is going to be part of another video talking about the pricing because I'm working on this whole pricing thing, this whole pricing thing. Because I sometimes you be watching these videos and you be like, really, bitch? I was really ho. Okay, let me stop cursing. Really ho. I was watching somebody doing something about their favorite designer brands, their favorite designers. And they pulled out... Armani Pre Rouge Malachite. Rouge Malachite is about $500 for the bottle. I'm like, girl, what are you playing with somebody? When people think designers, they're not thinking about the private label. They're like, well, I decided to put the private label because it is part of the designer. It is $500. Um, no, we're not doing that today. All right, so the next one I got was Ellen Tracy Bronze. Now, I had actually looked this up. This was on my list of things to get, but the price I found this at was even cheaper than Fragrance Net. So I had to get her to try, so we could try her out. This is another one of those kind of summery fragrances. So we gonna have some summer fragrances. Okay, so let's take her out. Let's take her out. <laughs> oh, oh, look, I got stuff all around me. It's just getting bad, y'all. Okay, so now let's take her out. Now, bronze. This is a citrus floral, sweet amber, ozonic, white floral. Those are the accords. It has top notes of 
bergamot this thing has a whole lot of stuff in it so let me we're, watch when i start right reading it to you i was like are you kidding me this is everything in here you're kidding right top notes of bergamot sparkling lemonade green apple and mandarin heart notes of lily of the valley honeysuckle orange blossom violet and violet leaf base notes of vanilla orchid musk heliotrope cedar coumarin i have never heard of that oak moss and tree moss this thing better smell good as hell for all that that's in it you know you're doing too much it's, I, ellen tracy come on okay okay so what it smells like definitely can smell the 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 kind of lemonade citrusy smell on top definitely can smell that it definitely has like this fruit smell but yes honey it's got everything in there everything this is ellen tracy bronze and so definitely has all those that lemony you know fruity smell to it in the beginning definitely get that you start getting like the orange blossom and stuff like that i just and you can you start smelling the vanilla i hope i don't get all this oak moss and everything so i am going to of course wear these to see how they wear dry down all that stuff but so far i'm liking the things that i have because you know these are all blind buys let me tell y'all just so um you know, I had I know people be like, oh, you should not you shouldn't do blind buys. You should try everything. But listen, I am a makeup buyer. As a makeup buyer, we buy blind buys all the time. All the time. When I go and see some stuff on Juvia's Place, I look at the pictures and I say, okay, let me get it. So as long as it's in that budget, like what I would what I would spend on makeup, I don't have a problem with buying up doing a blind buy. Right. girl well I got this at Marshall's it was sealed up so yeah so it's just like so I am of the notion if it's like you know if it feels if it's like um if it's if it rolls like what I spend money on makeup it's all about the same because I know the big thing is people be like don't blind buy don't buy. I can understand I buy I'm not gonna blind buy you know a three hundred dollar just repackaged ah okay now this was sealed up when i got it uh, okay there okay now next up i got this do i have this one out here yes i got this now i actually got a whole set of this um now interestingly enough this was not on my list of things to get i wanted bella blanca right see um i wanted bella blanca but i wound up getting bella rosa um i tried to order bella blanca before and it was sold out so by the time i ordered it they refunded my money you know unlike um pat mcgrath i got refunded right away let me say that <laughs> unlike pat mcgrath i got my refund right away so this is bella rosa uh yeah i wanted it but they didn't have it um girl ain't that a mess um so we're gonna see how this smells so this is a cheap rough floral um this is uh which means that it has like a woody smell too so this is a floral with rose citrus woody powdery white floral so let's see it has notes of pink pepper freesia and mandarin orange uh then it's got pink rose jasmine bases patchouli sandalwood and amber i can see it not lasting long because i can barely smell it yeah i can barely smell it but it definitely has um it definitely has that rose smell to it, and I can smell the freesia. But see, I like freesia. Freesia is one of my favorite floral scents. Um, 
and it does have a little peppery pink pepper to it I okay for my sensibilities I kind of like it I have to see how it plays on my skin but if it smells good on me I would wear this in the springtime this is definitely a spring and summer fragrance now I want Bella Blanca because I had smelled Bella Blanca and Bella Blanca is lovely but it wasn't in so we'll see if I like this one I definitely want Bella Blanca though but I will say I do like the um the, I like the packaging you know the it this is like plastic but it's really pretty and then it's like got all this pink and rose gold so right there automatically I'm like hmm. but I got the whole set let me tell you <laughs> hopefully I like it because I have the whole set it got shower gel it's got all this good stuff in here so I got that okay then I got this um, I'm back on Terry Mugler now let me say I don't like Angel anymore I liked Angel back in the 90s when it first came out I did get it back then and it smelled lovely on me but now um, I found that set at Burlington I found a set at Burlington um, over by me which I think this one is closing down because half the store is gone right see it doesn't smell good on me anymore like um the last time i tried it on it was like ah, ah, and it was terrible on me so i couldn't mess with it now um i've heard angel muse is good everybody talks about angel muse this is in everybody's favorites everybody's favorites so now what i did read up on it is that because i didn't get all the notes but what they said was that this is the first vetiver for women you know that's a vetiver scent now um because like angel is the first gourmand which makes sense because but it's a patchouli vanilla bomb i used to love that shit though i wore the hell out of angel back when it first came out i remember getting that little star bottle thinking i was somebody you couldn't tell me nothing so let's see how angel smells and i know i've heard what it's supposed to smell like but let me see if it smells like that to me so I got the small one because it's refillable. Oh my God, this thing smells so good. Oh yeah. I definitely smell the hazelnut and I love hazelnut. Oh, and I can smell the cocoa. Yes. Mmm. Oh. Oh my God, this smells so good. Okay, I see the hype. The hype is real, and I, I, I think it's worth the hype. I, the hype is real. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. This damn thing smells so good. Oh. Y'all, this shit smells so good. I promise y'all. Oh, my God. Right, you know I love me some Ferrero Rocher. I love me some Godiva. I used to be a chocolatier. Y'all don't know that, but I used to make chocolate truffles and all that other good stuff. Oh my goodness. But it's got this hazel and oh. Ooh, and then it's sweet like candy. You know, I really like sm tasting, smelling like somebody should be licking on me, eating me up. Okay, let me just shut up before I get in more trouble. Oh my God, this is, the hype is real. The hype is motherfucking real. Hi, Anastasia, you know I'm, the hype is real. Is Rhonda still here? Because if Rhonda's here, guess what I got because of you, Miss Rhonda. Miss Rhonda, you like my like perfume junkie. You like one of them perfume junkies because you be in there, you one of the people that I love to watch. I got a few I love to watch. Yeah, so I got me some warm vanilla sugar. Because Miss Rhonda said that that's a good one to layer with vanilla perfumes. Oh my gosh. Hey, Joshua. Yes, we did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, so now. Ooh, good. You know, I'm a, I'm a good diver girl. All right, so now I got some boxes here that just came today. Let's go through the boxes. Let's go through the boxes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we even hit the boxes, whoo, baby. 
I got your warm vanilla sugar. Because I got to layer. Because Miss Rhonda told me to layer. Okay, so now let's try what Coco brought me, which is this Montal Oud Velvet. Oh, you, okay. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, moment of silence for the pink eye look. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Now, I don't have the cords, but I love Montal. Montal is a beast, though. Montal is beastie. Now, if you want to try Montals, they do have the 1.7 ounces on FragranceNet.com. You just can't get these, you know, anyplace else, you know, on the, um, because they're getting rid of them. So they're super, they're kind of inexpensive. Now, y'all know I love Oud right now. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but we're going to find out. I love their little, they little thing they do here so that you can, you know. This reminds me of Velvet Flowers because that's the one I have. Oh, but it's, it's floral with a little oud in it. It is very oud. It is very oud. Yeah, it's kind of got that um, bite to it. Like, you can smell the floor, but you can definitely smell the oud. Because this is a strong oud scent. So, and now, you know what I would do with this? Oud is um, agarwood, so it's a very, um, to me, it's like, it's, it's similar to sandalwood. So, it's a wood. And it has like a, um, um, it can be very um, pungent and, and it can be very hard on the, on, you know, you have to really like it because that's why they put, they to kind of layer it with a lot of rose because rose and oud smells Ooh, good together. I smell perfume, baby. <laughs> it's really strong, baby. Yeah, it is. You ain't gonna need to light no like here. No, we won't. So it, it's a, it, but it's a very strong wood, and this is a very strong oud. Um, so what I would do is layer this with rose, and see how this works. Because if if it's too strong a, a oud, rose really plays really well with it. Oh, but yeah, this is a strong ass oud. This is very strong. Okay, so there we got that. Thank you, Coco. I appreciate it, girl. I'm gonna wear that stuff. Yes, it is very, yeah. I love fig. It is very sexual. It's a very sexual fragrance. Okay, so let me show y'all what I got here. Look, fragrance, fragrance.com is it knows my feet need work because they keep sending me tone clippers i can see it being too much i can see it being too much because this baby will smack you in the this will smack you in the ass it will definitely smack you in the ass okay so now this is um hermes giant the med Ooh, that sounds good okay so i got a couple of things in this one so let me tell y'all what i got first let's open this one first <laughs> okay so this one is called our room and this is by a company called ajmal ajmal is a indian um perfumery and they uh they said honey that's my third one uh, but you know um uh, <laughs> right they try to tell me something now this is do they have a top to them? No top. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Okay. We're going to see. So anyway, this is the way this baby looks. Um, did I write down a, a chords for this one? Did I forget to do this one? Let me see what this one says. Right. Right. Today is Christmas. Okay. So this is our room. Um, and I wanted to try some different companies like Indian and Arabian and things. So I got this. This is a floral fruity. Now, first off, let's look at this bottle. This bottle is crazy looking. The only thing I will say about these like companies that are, you know, Arabian, like um, 
what's that one I just bought from Armov? They have crazy looking. I know so I guess this is like the aesthetic over there because this is so tacky to me. I don't I, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. So we're gonna see now. I do like this one better than the one that I got the from Arma. But okay, so this is a floral fruity. It's white floral, sweet, fruity, powdery citrus. It says the top notes are lemon and raspberry. The middle notes are orange blossom, gardenia, jasmine, spicy, and fruity notes. That's what it says. I went on their website to read this up. And the base is amber. Le uh, musk, vanilla, woody, and powdered. Yes, it is like gold dried leaves in there, which is quite interesting to me. But let's see how it smells. Okay, let's see how she smells. Definitely can smell the raspberry. Oh, yeah, this is a raspberry bomb in the beginning. If you don't like raspberries, don't get this. It is definitely raspberry. Oh, you smell like a raspberry look. This is like a raspberry. Mm. Oh, yes. And then the lemon is coming through. And then you can smell the jasmine. Oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, the raspberry is strong in this. Um, baby. Uh, see Jenny this smells like for real this reminds me of a raspberry jelly rancher mm -hmm. got that raspberry jelly rancher smell or even better like a raspberry um I've had like like a sundae that had raspberries on it yeah hi Vicky it has this like raspberry mmm I like it though because as I'm smelling I can smell the floral part coming through so it's like it's a raspberry floral kind of vibe you barely get the lemon but baby you get this raspberry I like it because you know this this would be like a really sparkly fresh fruity floral for spring I could definitely see wearing this in the spring with a nice little dress. You know, you're going out to brunch with your girls and you're going to smell like a raspberry dessert. Mm -hmm. You're going to smell like a raspberry dessert with this one on. You know, you're just going to be a, you're going to be a raspberry dessert. Yes, girl. And a pink lip. Yes, yes. We got to dress it up correctly. We got to dress it up correctly. Now, this this was on this was on sale. This is in Maison Lancome. So this was on deep discount. I don't think they're making this one anymore. This is called La Ultra Oud. La Ultra Oud. So let me see what this one is. Now whereas um now this is not a tester bottle, so we can see the difference in how this is done. Because mine was in the plain, the, the um, Oud Bouquet was in a plain bottle. But look at this bottle, y'all. And she comes out. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, oh, oh. And then she's got the little stuff. The presentation. It better. The present. I got this on Fragrance Net. So the presentation. And this was like 80 something dollars with the discounts and stuff okay let me get it let me get into let me get into her okay oh you can tell the difference between my little my little tester bottle and this look at this packaging now let's see it's fancy girls so we have this this is the ultra oud honey i got to keep all of this i mean this is the stuff to make. And then they got all the information on it. Oh my goodness, she fancy. She is fancy, girls. She's fancy. She's fancy. Okay, so now let's look. So this is a woody oud rose balsamic, earthy, warm, spicy. Those are the accords. The uh, top notes are saffron and cypriol and labdamin. 
absolute and clary sage turkey and bulgaria rose absolute are the heart notes and then it has guayac wood green and wet patchouli vetiver where's vicky um amorous wood moss gurgum bomb i have no idea what the hell that is and myrrh absolute so we're gonna see how this looks now now from what i heard whereas ubuke is much is a very is sweeter this isn't as sweet so we're gonna see what it looks like but then i got something else i got some longer. now remember we're gonna go through these and then we're gonna end this live why because i'm trying to see can I, you know we should do a little bit shorter lives even though this is gonna be an hour because i got every damn thing here you know it happens um Oh, I just got this all over my hands. Oh my God. Okay. Definitely can smell the saffron. Definitely can smell the oud. Definitely can smell the rose. Okay, so it does sell, smell similar to oud bouquet, but it's a much more spicy, more, you know, um, where oud bouquet is unisex, but it, it, it leans toward the sweet. Whereas, this is much spicier you can definitely get that saffron that spicy saffron off of it and definitely that oud smell comes through this is a really sexy um now this is you have got to be very comfortable with yourself um because mm, it's got a woody smell to it it definitely has a lot of wood in it so you have to be you know as a woman you have to be good with smelling like you know woods and things as opposed to the fruity florals and the you know um the the you know we're so used to being like gourmand sweet and things this is very spicy and woody i would love to smell it on a man too because i i know this probably smells heavenly on a man but i'm pretty sure but i know it would smell good on me too so what yeah so it's got so it has a definite um more woody smell as opposed to um ubu k but this fucking packaging y'all oh and look at that like hello darlings come in too yeah it's definitely unisex i can definitely see well hell is half on me now we're gonna put this on we're gonna see what it smells like on a dry down because i sprayed it on my hand by accident so let's just put it over here and see what it smells like so we're gonna let that sit for a minute on me. Yes, the packaging is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it, you know, it's got a little vintage look. They said there's like 17 um, note, uh, notes in this. And now I didn't list all 17, but it definitely says 17. Okay, so that's from that one. Then I got one more box. Look at, look at my Karen coming up, telling, yep. Okay, so hello, can I get in here? Now, when it comes down to these um, discount perfumers, fragrance that always has the best prices except for like um if you get into really niche brands max aroma does really great sales now i ain't had no money for max aroma but if you're looking at the niche brands he be coming for you okay so this one right here it's another box let's see what's in here let's start here but perfume.com don't play on the shipping Perfume.com usually has a standard 20% off for their pricing, but you know, so they're a little more expensive than Fragrance Net. But if you're looking to get something quick and you and you go get free shipping, go with Perfume.com. Like if you need to get it like in a few days, I ordered this stuff. I want to say. Um, On the 23rd? Yeah. I think it was on the 23rd. And it's all here. And I got it today. 
because they 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 ship that same day. The one thing about perfume.com, they ship out. They don't play. You ain't waiting days for them to ship ship out. Perfume.com does not play. Okay, yeah. So this is ooh, she does smell good though. This is definitely different than Ubu K. Much spicier, much more on the masculine side of a oud. And this is a strong oud. Oh yeah. Like this one, Coco, you wouldn't want it. Because it's similar to that oud velvet. They have a very similar vibe to them. I wouldn't say you would like this one. Because it has a very similar vibe to that. All right, so let's try this one because I'm all about the ouds now. We have Perry Ellis Saffron Rose Absolute. I promise y'all, I'm on this oud rose journey right now. I've got to stop. Okay, this is this is it. Okay, first off, let's look at this bottle. Oh, this bottle is gorgeous. Did I even write it up? Okay, I did. This is an Oriental Floral balsamic warm spicy with rose oud and woody top is saffron and black rose middle is labdomen labdomen and incense and the base is sandalwood and oud first off let's just talk about the weightiness of this this is gorgeous this is a gorgeous bottle you presentation is everything with it i mean you want the stuff to sm you want it to smell good. And this really wasn't that expensive. Um, this was under $60. And this is 3.4 ounces. All right. Oh. Mm, she's good. This is definitely that sweet rose oud smell. Oh, yeah. This is sexy as hell, y'all. Mm hmm This one doesn't have, like, the super sweet vanilla to it, but it is definitely a rose oud. And then it's got that little saffron, so it's got that little spiciness to it. Mm. Oh, yeah. She's good. So this isn't a sweet oud. This is a more spicier one, spicy rose. You will like this one because it's more about the rose and the oud is in the background. Oh. She's gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. This is a nice oud. This is a beautiful oud. I'm telling y'all, I'm all into the rose oud vibe right now. I mean, that's my signature. This this is my signature for the winter. Rose and oud, bitch. Rose and oud. This is so gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> all right. Let's go. So, now, I've been hearing about this company, too. And I wanted to try out a couple of things. So this is Swiss Arabian. This is, of course, this um, baby. It is sexy. And if you don't like super, if you if you want like, if you want to try florals, but you don't like that super floral smell, you don't want it to be sweet. Go with the rose blue because. That was better than I expected it to be. All right, so this is Swiss Arabian. Like I said, I'm kind of like getting into like the Indian companies. They're out of the, the UAE. Okay, so this is La Ayla. Okay, let's take a moment to look at the packaging. Pretty, pretty, pretty. They can be over the top. You know, the packaging, when you talk about these companies, is definitely over the top. You know, it ain't that simplistic millennial look when you talk about these companies. Not at all. Hi, Candace. How are you? All right. So here we go. Let's look at this one. Now, I heard about this one from somebody else on YouTube. So I want to see. So Layla is a fruity floral. 
is fruity with amber, white floral, woody, animalic, and sweet. Got a little thing about their stuff. Um, this got plum, orange flowers is the top note. Black currants is at the heart. I really like black currant. This room is ridiculous. <laughs> Whew, I'm glad I didn't do this in my bedroom because I would not be able to breathe. Um, it is, um, the heart is black currants, lang, rose, and jasmine, and the base is oud and amber. For, okay, so let me show y'all the bottle. Let's see this bottle. See, they're, they're so over the top. They're so over the top. This is like, you know, it's nice. This is, this is not plastic. This is for real. This is got some weight to it all right this bottle was under forty dollars all right so let's see how she smells oh yeah you definitely get the plum immediately <clears throat> definitely get that plum it's definitely got that fruity smell, but then you smell the orange flowers with it. So it's definitely got that plum with that fruity smell. Mm -hmm. And then the floral start coming out. Yeah. So this has kind of got a um, kind of clean, like a um, clean soapy smell to it a sweet soapy kind of smell to it but not that not that ivory soap it's it it feels very um middle eastern it definitely reads very middle eastern you know like like you would be in a you would pick this up in like a bazaar like in morocco or something you know or you're in dubai picking up you know just in dubai you know on a vacation and you pick this up and you just pick this you know and you pick up this little bottle and smells like you know you're gonna you know gonna be sitting around with hookahs and everything oh yeah definitely gives you that hookah vibe it um reminds me of some hookahs that i've smoked okay yeah we know who i am oh yeah definitely fruity floral this is definitely a spring summer vibe but this definitely gives me like this this whole presentation makes me feel like i've been in bazaar in dubai you know in the middle east buying perfumes and i picked this up in a little you know a little shop a little a little stall in the bazaar and i picked this up and uh, it's just you know a little just a little fruity floral smell this is swiss arabian you can actually buy these on you can find them on amazon too but um fragrance net does not carry swiss arabian Fra uh, i got these on perfume.com and this just came back in because it was out but yeah so it's got this very definite but now this is another one that I wanted to try. Watch this. Um, this is Shagoff Oud. And this has been said to be um, a dupe of very similar to Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Um, so this has that very Oud Bouquet vibe. This is an oriental vanilla. It's got um, it's sweet oud, vanilla, rose, warm, spicy. Top notes are saffron. I got a lot of saffron going on. Heart notes is rose and oud. The bottom notes are praline, vanilla. Um, yes, at the souk, baby. So let's look at this one. And, um, this is Swiss Arabian also. So these are both Swiss Arabians. So look at this. And it's kind of got this like feeling like it's wood. It looks, you know, they give you the oud vibe, the wood vibe to it. Oh, they just do it. Right. So praline and vanilla is kind of one of. Now, um, Swiss Arabian does their own thing. Like 
Our Moth is more of a clone company. You know, they're one of those ones that does more duping. Ajmal does their own thing too. Um, the Swiss Arabian does their own thing. So let's see this bottle. Okay, so she's big and gold. She's big and gold and gaudy. She's big and gold and gaudy. She's big and gold and gaudy. I have is for you know I have on my community tab what I'm only doing three collections this year because we've pretty much done lipsticks so I'm not gonna go over lipsticks again because we did that when I did my um declutter but this right here she's big and gaudy honey when you talk about things like UAE and Dubai and everything this is such their aesthetic because it's just big and gaudy it's it's kind of got that gaudy vibe to it all right let's see can y'all see okay i'm not i cannot get another rose oud this season now we're not gonna talk about next fall we're talking about this fall i i can't get another rose oud i'm sensing a pattern here y'all i'm sensing a pattern here okay so let's see what, what it smells like oh yeah this does smell similar to uh oud bouquet Oh my god, yeah, this smells similar to Ubuquet. So, um, right, the pink eyeshadow pattern, right? I'm letting... Yep, this smells this smells almost exactly like Ubuquet. And this is under $30. This is under $30. Oh this mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You should, Coco. Yes, because it's very much similar to Ubu K. Let me tell you how much this thing costs. Oh, they don't tell you on here. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This smells so much like Ubu K. It's ridiculous. Because it has that sweetness to it. It definitely has that praline vibe. Because this is very similar. The difference is this has saffron on the top note. So it has a little spiciness to it. But everything else smells just like Ubuke. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. This is... Mm. Yes. So. We have gone through... 15 fragrances in an hour we've had a good time so yes yeah, so this so if you don't want to spend the money on ubu k because ubu k if you buy retail is 208 dollars shagaf oud has the same exact smell it has the same similar dna for 20 something dollars boom okay so we have gone through these. I will be doing a collection video because my collection has kind of gotten out of control, y'all. This is going to be part of the collection stuff. Um, so thank you for hanging out. I'm going to end this now. Do y'all want to keep chatting? Because I can end this right now and then come right back on. What y'all want me to do? Let me know right now because I'm about to end it. And I got to take a picture to put this in because this is ridiculous how much maybe it's a it's ridiculous how much i have all right so i'm gonna end this we'll come back and talk for a little bit and then b can come and you know hey you want to see the lippy swatch okay we'll do that then okay so let's go back all right see y'all in a minute